So you are the captain, you play for England, you play for Great Britain, you're pro, you, you're there all the time, this is your life. The team is immersed with amateur players, for want of a better way of putting it. How do you have to balance frustrations in maybe people turn up late from work, um, performance standards, fitness levels? Um, to be honest, I think, again, with that, what Brett enables is we, we are, we're not strict, but, you know, we, so there are certain players in the team who often can't get there on time because of work, but we know they're trying everything they can to get there as quick as they can. And it's not that they're, they can't be bothered and they, they're not taking it serious, seriously. Everyone knows that you turn up to training and you want to do well. Um, but also for me, the club side is, is my enjoyment. Not that I don't enjoy the GB, that, but it, it is, training is more relaxed and you can have a good time. And so for me, throughout times in my career where things haven't been going well and I haven't really been confident playing for Team GB, actually me going to club is where I've sort of found myself again and you, you actually remember what it's all about, why you play and you're playing with your, your friends. And yes, of course, you're still being really competitive and I'm still gonna tell people if they're not jumping back tackling or they're not trying hard enough, but everybody steps out onto the pitch to try to do their best. And, and I think once you know that, then you might have a frustration in a minute, but it doesn't last particularly long. And actually just playing with a smile on your face. So for me, that's the most important thing. And without Surbiton, I definitely wouldn't be at the position I am now. And even having played for GB, at times where it was really tough, I wouldn't have been able to get back up to be back playing and selected for GB without Surbiton. So I don't think those frustrations last particularly long. And to be honest, I love every, every minute when I'm playing there. So I know this won't relate to you, but when has there ever been a situation where a, an England or Team GB player has not quite put the performance in, not quite tracked back when they should and have been told by an amateur player, pull yourself together? To be fair, I think, so there's a couple of players in our team who, um, so one of them used to play for GB. Um, she didn't actually make too many uh, appearances, but she's a northern hard gritty girl and she has a voice on her and she will shout and you everyone just knows that that's what she brings to the team and so no matter who it is she's going to shout at you and work hard and and i think the beauty is there's no there's not really any egos in our team so if so training the other day if she shouts at me saying you should attract your player you go yeah you're right i should have and then and that's all she wants as well it's the recognition, holding your hands up, yeah, I, in that moment I should have been better, but actually what are you gonna do next? Okay, I'm gonna, for the team, I'm gonna, and for me, I'm gonna do better. Um, so I think everyone has that knowledge, and even if, in, yeah, he might be absolutely knackered. I've, there's a lot of times you turn up to Serbs and training and then a match and it's been, I've really got to dig deep here to put in a performance, and there might be a split second where you've not been able to track that player or, or whatever, not gone on, on to the attack. And you, you need your teammates to get behind you and shout at you. And I don't think that's a, a bad thing. It just helps you come back in and, and then actually go again. So I think uh, there's different pe people in the team that you'll know that they'll come from, but they're only doing that to help the whole team out. So you accept it and get better next time. Okay, so it sounds like you've had that as well. I think everyone's had it, to be <laughs> honest. It, it might, it's not like you say in a whole game, you've been terrible. It might just be in a, in a run back you're absolutely exhausted and you haven't quite made it and you just need your teammates to, to help you out. And it's not in a, a real negative way, like you're screaming at each other. It's saying, come on, next one, you need to do better. And you go, yeah, got it.